Hi. As a data analyst, have you ever been tasked with producing financial reports quarterly or yearly, and then feeding these insights back to key decision makers weekly or daily? Delivering these insights to the key people is important, but producing these reports can be time consuming. Today, we'll see how a data analyst can create these insights within minutes. To do so, we'll be using a tool called Contour in Foundry. Now, Contour is a point and click user interface tool that allows us to analyze vast quantities of data extremely quickly, and then deliver these insights to other users so they can explore and investigate the data as they require. Additionally, we'll also see how these other users can change parameters to customize the data for their use case. I'll now hand over to my colleague for a walkthrough. We are going to design this dashboard in Foundry using Contour App in less than 10 minutes. But before we do that, let's see how a data analyst will use this dashboard to do year-over-year -year sales analysis on sales data set. This dashboard is showing sales for year 2020. I can see what the total sales is and also sales for the previous year. And this is showing me sales growth compared to previous year. 4.1%, not that good, but okay. I can also see the trend in year over year sales growth in this chart by quarter. So it looks like it is negative minus 6% in Q1, but it has picked up in other quarters. If I want to see the sales trend and sales growth by a region, all I need to do is click on this region here and this dashboard gets updated and showing me data only for the West region. I can see that overall uh, sales growth is a little bit better compared to overall for all the regions, but still it is negative in Q1 and Q2 and has picked up in other quarters. I can also select another region and then see that for East region, the year over year sales growth is negative and I can see the trend in this chart as well. I can also do this analysis by different year by selecting year 2021, applying this filter. Now this whole dashboard is showing me sales data for year 2021. And I can see that sales growth for 2021 is much better compared to 2020. Now let's see how you can create this dashboard using Contour App in Foundry. We are going to use this sales data set create contour analysis to design the dashboard we just reviewed. You can create this analysis by clicking on analyze button here. I have already created a new contour analysis. I'm going to use this to analyze sales data set. First, I'm going to create a new expression to extract year from order date. For this, I'm going to use year function and pass order date as the parameter. This will extract year from order date. Let's also create a new expression for quarter to extract quarter from the order date. For this, I'm going to use quarter function and pass order date as the parameter. Next, I'm going to create an aggregate expression to summarize a sales data set by region, by year, and by quarter. And for aggregates, I'm going to use sum of sales amount. Now, I'm going to create one more expression to calculate sales for the previous year. This is going to use Windows function lag, which is going to return sales for the same period previous year. In this case, what was the sales for the previous year, same quarter. Now, before we can create another chart to add them in the dashboard, I quickly want to test it using this pivot table to make sure that this expression, which is sales previous year, is returning a correct value. So for that, I'm going to display this data, aggregate data in Viewer table using region, year, and quarter, and show me sales and sales previous year. So it looks like for central region for year 2019, 
sales previous year is matching for the sales in the previous year in 2018 so it looks good all good so i can delete it now i'm not going to use this table in the dashboard let's quickly create a new parameter for year where user can enter the value for year and filter the data set in the dashboard for selected year i'm going to allow user to select one of the three values shown here let's save this and also map this parameter to the year expression that we created earlier this will allow user to select year from the parameter and filter data set by year. Now uh, let's create a new bar chart to show sales by region. This bar chart will be used to filter data set in the dashboard by region. Let's add this sales by region bar chart to dashboard and quickly preview it. Now let's add a new expression to calculate percent change in sales year over year. We'll use this to show KPIs in the dashboard. So to show KPIs, I need to add use calculate expression to define three different KPIs. First one here is total sales for the selected year. Next KPI I'm going to add is sales, total sales for previous year. And third KPI I want to show is year over year change in sales percent change in sales i want to format this and make sure it shows a value in percent so for that let's select percentage for special formatting let's also add conditional formatting so that if year over year percent change is change is greater than zero it should indicate that using green color. I'm going to add this in the dashboard and let's test it quickly in the dashboard. Now if I select a particular region, it should filter sales KPIs as well. It's showing sales for a selected region and for the year that you see here, which is 2020. Awesome. Next, we are going to show aggregated data using pivot table. Here, I'm going to show sales and sales for previous year in the pivot table as aggregated data. It's gonna show it by region and quarter. Let's quickly rename these columns and also change the width of the column so that it fits in the dashboard. I'm also going to re I'm going to edit the expression for quarter to append Q to each quarter number. Awesome. Looks good. Let's add this to the dashboard and let's test it in the dashboard let's move it next to the sales by region and also it's filtering when i select the region looks good now we just need to add one more chart for sales comparison year over year but before we do that let's summarize this data set again by year and quarter So this aggregate expression is going to return sales and sales previous year by year and quarter. And I also want to show the person change. So I'm going to create a new expression. Before that, let's compare it. Looks good. Let's create a new expression now to show year over year person change. 
This we will show in the chart later on. Okay, now let's create a new chart to do year over year sales comparison by quarter. So for X axis, let's select quarter and for Y axis, we are going to select two different series. One is sum of sales. Next one is going to be sum of sales previous year. And then let's add one more overlay chart to show year over year change in sales as a line chart. This will indicate if sales is improving, which is increasing or decreasing by percent. Let's rename the legend for year over year percent change. Add this to the dashboard. And let's place this between sales by region and the pivot table and also expand it a little bit so that it looks a little bit better. Okay, we are done with the dashboard. We can quickly test it by selecting different regions and also by changing the year and then applying that filter. It looks good. 